Hi guys, welcome to another week of E58 Tribe Kids, part two of the Armor of God. Hi everyone. Hi guys. Last week, we started learning about the Armor of God. The Armor of God is what God gives us to fight our battles. Raphael, do you remember our first two parts of armor? I do. I am wearing the armor of God, the belt of truth, and a holy heart. That's right, Raphael. Let's send it over to Ms. Lindsay to find out our next two parts of armor. Oh, yeah. All right, hello again, friends. Today, let's talk about... <laughs> I'm gonna beat you, Theo! Hey, Clementine and Theo, wait a second. Why are you guys running around? <laughs> we are in the middle of a race. That actually goes perfectly with what we're talking about today. Do you guys have a second to pause and we can finish your race later? Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. Awesome. The next part of our armor is, can you guess? Well, since you said our shoes fit perfectly with what are we talking about today, hmm. is the next part of the armor of God shoes? Yes, you are right, Theo. In Ephesians 6.15, it says, And on your feet, wear the good news of peace to help you stand strong. Oh, that sounds good. But what does it mean? Why does God actually give us shoes as part of our armor? Great question, Clementine. Let's think about it like this. Every time you leave your house, you have to put on shoes, right? Yeah. Just like putting on shoes to leave the house, Jesus wants us to remember and have the good news of him every time we leave the house. Oh, so when I put on the shoes that are the armor of God, I am putting on the good news of Jesus to tell others when I go out. That is right, Theo. Does that make more sense, Clementine? Yes, it does. Okay, what is the next part of our armor? For the next part, Theo, you stand over here and take this ball. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna hold this pillow and we're gonna play a game. You're gonna throw the ball and try to hit me, okay? Are you sure? I am, just trust me on this one. Okay. <laughs> nice block, Miss Lindsay. Thanks. What was I using the pillow as? Oh, you were using it as a skill to block the ball from hitting you. Exactly, and that's the next part of our armor. God gives us a shield. Ephesians 6, 16 says, In every battle, take on faith as your wraparound shield, because it is able to extinguish the blazing arrows coming at you from the evil one. Wow, that makes sense. Of course, in a battle, someone is trying to attack you, so a shield protects you from the attack. That is right, Theo. I think you're starting to get it. I get all of that too, but how do I use the shield of faith every day? That's a great question, Clementine. Let's imagine that you're out on the playground with a friend and they say something that makes you feel a little bit sad. The enemy wants to use those words to hurt you. When I put up the shield of faith, I know that Jesus does not want to say those mean things to me. He says that he loves me and he loves you and those mean things are lies. When I put up the shield of faith, those mean things, they can't get to me or hurt me. Oh, now it's starting to make sense. Oh, good, Clementine. To remember, let's add a new part to our chant. The new part is shoes of good news and the shield of faith. I like that. I think it would be fun to see if we can do it together. Last week's and this week's. That's a great idea! Let's send it over to some friends to show us the hand motions! I am wearing the armor of God, the belt of truth, a holy heart, shoes of good news, and the shield of faith. Alright, great job friends! Before we go, let's spend some time talking to Miss Nina and asking God some questions. 
Hi everyone! Let's spend some time talking to God about the new parts of armor he gave us. Yeah, let's ask him for shoes that will make us really fast and pillows to fall out of the sky. <laughs> Raphael, those are great things to talk to God about. Pillows falling out of the sky would be pretty wild. But first, let's try out this question. Now's the time to grab an adult. Okay, the question is, God, you love to share the good news of Jesus with people. Who can I share Jesus with this week? I love that question. Sometimes I forget how important it is to put on my good nose shoes every day. God just reminded me that my neighbor Patty has been really sick and I could go pray for her. Okay, our next question is, God, sometimes I forget to put my shield of faith up. Is there anything I believe about myself that isn't true? Oh, oh, can I share again, Miss Nina? God told me that when my dad had to discipline me the other day when I forgot to do my chores, I believed that I wasn't smart. But God told me that I'm really smart. That's so awesome, Raphael. You know what? I think you're really smart, too. Well, friends, I hope you had a wonderful time talking to God. Bye, friends! Bye, guys! Bye-bye, and don't forget to wear your armor this week. I am wearing the armor of God, the belt of truth, a holy heart, shoes of good news, and the shield of faith. Yay!